Coming into the 200 meter final, there was a widespread anticipation and high expectations surrounding Gabby Thomas. Having consistently posted world-class times and shown remarkable form throughout the season, the U.S. trials, and even during the first two rounds at Paris, with each race, she started painting the picture more and more for what to expect at Paris. And now, it's finally complete. Gabby Thomas is officially an Olympic gold medalist in the 200 meters. In today's 200 meter final, Gabby once again showcased exactly why she's considered the best 200 meter sprinter in the world right now. From the moment the gun started, it was evident that Thomas was in a class of her own. Her explosive start characterized by powerful long strides and impeccable acceleration, immediately put her ahead of the pack, coming off the curve. As she rounded the curve and slingshotted off of it, Thomas maintained her lead with the combination of speed and technical precision. And this is where her strong suit really kicks in. Her smooth transition from the curve into the straightaway highlights her excellent form and efficiency. And by the time she entered the home stretch, it was clear that she had already had this in the bag. Thomas crossed the finish line with a time of 21.83, a dominant performance that left her competitors trailing far behind, with the closest one being Julian Alfred, which I will give her her flowers for. But you Julian Alfred friends are starting to get on my nerves because after she beat Shikari in the 100, all these other people just started talking down like Julian Alfred was just Usain Bolt and was just going to come out here and take the 100 and the 200. And I'm like, bro, she's not beating Gabby Thomas. And people are like, nah, Julian Alfred's taking the gold. No, she is not. Respect to Julian Alfred, though. This is her first Olympics. She's 23 years old. You know, she's like, she's done great. She came in here, took gold in the 100, got silver in the 200. That's not bad for individual events at all. That's great. You are not fucking with Gabby Thomas. But like I said, I'm giving her flowers. Good job on her. We're on the next Olympics and these all these world championships leading up to the next Olympics. I can't wait to see her perform because I know she's going to go crazy. But like I said, nobody's fucking with Gabby. Like, her top end speed and her speed endurance is just way too strong for anybody to compete with her. She's literally like a Noah Lyles. And honestly, if she stays healthy and works on the first half of her race like Noah did and got better at the 100, like getting her overall acceleration and first half of her race speed better, just like Noah, she's going to be able to widen that gap between her and the rest of the competition.